titrations. You want to be able to organize these well in your mind. Okay, so we're going to do a particular example. I'm going to have 25.00 milliliters of 0 0.100 molar NH3. And I have the, a K what for NH3? Well, it's a base, so it better be a KB. NH3 is a base. Okay, I'm going to titrate this with HCl, and it's going to be 0 0.100 molar, okay? So, the first part, part A. What I do, before I even tell you the first, oh, I'll write it down first. I want to know, oh, we, I went crazy on you here, POH after 10 milliliters of HCl is added. Usually we ask you for the pH. That is pOH. Okay. First, before I even start, I'd like to know what type of titration this is. So NH3 is what kind of base? Weak, weak base. What's this? Strong. Yeah, so this is a weak base, strong acid titration. It matters. Okay. Uh, you'll see how it matters in just a little bit. So, uh, be, well, to start part A, the key thing to always know when you're doing a titration, how many moles, or I prefer to use millimoles, how many millimoles of acid and base exist. So, I'm going to do that first. Then H3 is never going to change because the volume won't change. So, for the base, NH3, again, this will not change because we're only adding acid, we're not changing the base volume. 25 milliliters times 0 0.1. If you're a math savant, you can do this in your head. It's 2.5 millimoles. Okay, now let's do the HCl. This one will always change because we keep adding it and adding it. 10 milliliters is the first one for this part times its uh, concentration, also 0 0.1. So this is 1.0 millimoles. Now, after you find the moles of each, you want to know which one is in excess. That's the one with the bigger number. So that's the weak base. So my class might know what region are we in? The buffer region. The reason you know you're in the buffer region, if you have a weak acid or a weak base in excess, meaning the bigger number, it's going to be in the buffer region. So how do you solve this? No. The easy way, the hard way is the ice table. Henderson Hasselbach is the easy way. So that's the way I'm going to do it. You can solve it with the ice table. That's totally fine. Uh, I just don't want to waste my time in my life. No, it's not a waste of your life. Uh, so what I encourage you to do first, to find out what numbers go in, what numbers will go into the uh, ice table. So I encourage you to write the re reaction first. This is the stoichiometric reaction. Uh, and I use moles here, because I want to know what the leftover moles are. Uh, by the way, how do I know I, I have to do stoichiometry here? I must do stoichiometry at this point. I cannot do that. If you're using ice tub, you can't do it yet. Okay, oh, just a second. Uh, if you have non-zero numbers here, you must do stoichiometry first. If you have non-zero numbers here, so you cannot go, if you're using the ice table, you can't go straight to it. You must do stoichiometry because these are both not zero. And that's always going to be true in a buffer problem. Whenever you have a buffer, you have to do this part first, what's called the stoichiometric part of the problem. So you, these are zeros. And you find the smallest number in the reactants and you subtract it, minus 1.0, and then add it to the product side, plus 1.0. So you get 1.5, 0, 1.0, 1.0. .0. Now I can use the Henderson Hasselbach because I have the base here, I'll, uh, or acid, sorry. 
I have an acid and I have base. That's why it's the buffer region, or why you can use Henderson-Hasselbach. GH equals pKa plus the log of the base over the acid equals pKa. <coughs> well, I don't have pKa, I have Kb. So uh, the, way, uh, the way I do it is 14 minus pKb because sum of pKa and pKb equals 14 plus the log of the base, 1.5. Over the acid, 1.0. Oh, by the way, if you forgot, Kb, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. That's Kb. How do you find pKb? Yeah, you just take the negative log of that number. This is going to turn out to be... What do you think? Is it going to be bigger or smaller than the number 7? The pH. Is this going to... What's in excess? The base. The base, it better be bigger than 7 or you have messed up royally right here. So it is going to be bigger than 7 because I didn't mess up. 4.93 is the pH. I didn't ask for the pH though, I asked for the pOH, which is 14 minus 9.43 or 4.56. Yeah, that's fine. Five, five, seven. I, this is rounded. I'm putting the rounded numbers here, but when my calculator, I kept it extended. But yeah, if you're off in the hundreds place, it doesn't matter. Yeah. How do you know you can use Henderson Hasselbach? There's several regions. If reason one, if you, a weak acid or weak base is in excess, it must be the buffer region. So you can use the Henderson Hasselbach. Reason two, there's only two reasons. Reason two, you have a weak acid and weak base. This is a buffer left over, so it's Henderson Hasselbach.